we'll guide you through how to deactivate your Facebook and Messenger account. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Deactivating both your Facebook and Messenger account at the same time is relatively simple, but there is an important setting which you need to set. So I'll go over that now. So all you need to do is we'll do this in Messenger, is go to the top left and click on the three lines, and then go to the top right and go and click on the gear or cog icon to open your settings. Then what you need to do is go and scroll down until you get to the bottom and click on account center. In the account center, go into the account settings section and click on personal details and then click on account ownership and control. Then what you want to do is click on deactivation or deletion and you need to choose the account you're doing this for. In this case, it's Facebook and that includes both Messenger and Facebook. Then make sure you select deactivate account if that's what you want to do. Remember, deactivate is temporary. Then enter your password. What you will then need to do is go and give a reason. In this case though, I'll just put this as temporary, I'll be back, but give one for yours. Because of the option I selected, it's talking about an automatic reactivation. For me though, I don't want it to, so I'll say don't reactivate. But now on this page here, it says before you deactivate, and what you need to do is make sure continue using Messenger is not selected. If it is, you'll only be deactivating your Facebook account and your Messenger account will still be active. So make sure that is not selected and then click on deactivate my account. It's now finished and it says Rob Robson's is now deactivated. And to go and reactivate your account, all you need to do is sign back in.